Tonight, for the first time in 150 years, a cabinet official is staring down the possibility of impeachment. House Republicans accusing DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas of willful and systemic refusal to comply with immigration laws and a breach of public trust. Since President Biden took office, there's been a record 8.6 million migrants crossing the border. Joe Biden has turned every community into a border community with his failed policies. But Democrats blasting the move. The House Republicans have clearly turned their ever-shrinking majority over to the extremists. And this sham impeachment of Secretary Mayorkas is just another sad example. Mayorkas, a key part of the negotiations around a border security package, which Republicans demanded before they'll pass any new funding for Ukraine. Bipartisan senators are working on the border legislation President Biden vowed would help him deal with the crisis, including granting him new emergency authority. If that bill were the law today, I'd shut down the border right now and fix it quickly. If Joe Biden truly wanted to secure the border, he doesn't really need a bill. I did it with the current laws. Republican frontrunner Donald Trump urging Congress to torpedo the deal for not being tough enough. Please blame it on me, please, because they were getting ready to pass a very bad bill. Among the provisions, it could still allow up to 5,000 migrants per day to cross the border. But Democrats and some Republicans believe Trump wants to kill the bill to boost his presidential prospects. Ryan Nobles joins us live tonight from Capitol Hill. So, Ryan, where do things stand with that proposed border security deal tonight? Well, it could be introduced any day now, Tom. And even if it does pass the Senate, it faces an uncertain future in the House. Speaker Mike Johnson has said the package could be dead on arrival. Tom. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.